Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at the new 12-piece collection from China Glaze for Holiday 2016. The collection is called Seas and Greetings, and there's a real mix in here of formula, as they always do. We've got shimmers, we've got glitters, we've got cream polishes, and I'm happy to say that I'm really excited about this collection and I think you're really going to love it. So they named the collection Seas and Greetings, so that should give you a pretty good hint that it's not going to be your typical holiday collection. There are a lot of more kind of tropical flavors in here, so we're going to go ahead and get right into it. If you're wondering, these mainstream videos that have a lot of polishes in them, they are quite long because the whole second half of the video is comprised of dupes and comparisons within in this case, China Glaze own line. So I'm going to spend a while showing you other polishes that China Glaze has already made and promoted in other collections, how they might compare to polishes in this collection, so that you don't have to wonder if something new in this collection is already way too similar to a, another favorite that you have from China Glaze, and you'll just be able to see right up front and know if you really need to purchase these polishes. So we're going to go right into it. If you're new to my channel, we do live application here. So I'm going to show you exactly how these apply. You can see for yourself how they're going to go onto your nails and if you're going to like the formula and color or not. So let's begin. I was so happy when I got done swatching all 12 of these and I didn't feel disappointed with any of them. So let's start out with, I think, one of the polishes in here with the best formula. And this is a very pink toned red and this is called the More the Barrier. You may not even call this red, but this is, this is probably one of the closest things to red in the collection and it's a metallic pinky red and this is so good it's just one coat it goes on so creamy and easily this was just like heaven to apply I didn't have any cleanup issues nothing at all this is a really fun bright shade for the holiday so I think you're really going to enjoy this one the next two polishes are very similar. They're both kind of takes on coral. One is a little bit more of a red coral and one is more of a pink coral. So we're going to start out with the pinky coral first. This one is called Warm Wishes. And as I was saying on Snapchat, this one kind of looks like a Patrick Star pink. Maybe a little bit darker than that, but that's kind of what I thought of. This had great coverage at two coats. It applies nice and easily. No problems here with application. I thought this was a really beautiful shade and definitely nothing I was expecting to see from China Glaze for holiday. Next up we have the red coral. So this one's called Tis the Sea Sun. <laughs> so they always make me laugh with their names. Okay, so this is basically the same as the other one. This just has a little bit more red in it. So this is just, you know, if you have a little bit more of a red sunburn when you go on your holiday cruise this year instead of pink. Um, yeah, that's what it made me think of when I was putting it on. It has the same gorgeous two coat cream formula. I thought it was really lovely. Next up they gave us a very pale pink and this one's called Eat Pink and Be Merry. Super cute, especially for all you pink lovers, that's a really great phrase for you. This is very, very pale, but it has, it definitely has some peach warmer tones in there, but it also has a strong fuchsia shimmer going throughout, so it really does liven this color up a lot. I thought this looked great at two coats. You could go for a third if you want to. It kind of rides the line in there, so it just depends on how you like to wear it. If you wanted to do three coats, I would strongly suggest making them very thin coats so that you're not overloading your nail. Because this did seem like you could have the tendency to just kind of overwhelm a little bit if you have just too much on there. So just brush a lot of the paint off onto the brush and then get going. But I thought this was really beautiful. The next two polishes in the collection are both kind of sea foam greens. And again, really surprising polishes to find in a collection for holiday, but they're really great. They're so, so different from each other. So first up, the opaque cream is called Partridge in a Palm Tree. So, so cute. This one surprised me a lot. So if you remember the fall 2016 collection, there was that one polish in there called Combat Blutes, and it was super matte. It dries really, really fast. This is that same formula. 
This, like I said, it's a kind of darker seafoam green. It has silver shimmer in there. Really, really pretty, but as I was applying it, every time I get one of these polishes from China Glaze where they make an ultra matte polish, it dries really quick. So you need to do like a three stroke method and try not to paint too much over the same spot or it will just instantly pick the polish right back up. That being said, I thought this was gorgeous. The color is just right on my alley. I thought it was so beautiful. I'm going to show it to you matte and I'm also going to show it to you glossed up because I think it's super duper versatile and it looks beautiful both ways. Um, this definitely did need two coats though because it didn't quite get me even enough coverage at one. You just have to also be careful with this one because it can create kind of ridges on the nail if you're not careful. But all that being said, I thought this one was so beautiful. The next polish I want to talk about goes really well with that first screen and it is called Twinkle Twinkle Little Starfish. So in the bottle this looks very similar to the polish we just looked at but it's a very sheer shimmer so I actually really enjoy it as a topper over the first screen that we just looked at. But I'm going to show you this on its own and as a topper just so that you can see you know the diversity of it. Basically this has tons and tons and tons of gold shimmer in it. This is really, really beautiful on the nail. It's really metallic looking without actually technically being a metallic polish because it's also very sheer. So I'm gonna show you three coats of this on its own, which I think is totally wearable that way. I think it looks beautiful. But I'm also gonna show you over the other green, the partridge in a palm tree, because just basically one easy, easy coat right over that green and this just looks amazing. The next polish in the collection is a very, very pale blue with some strong gold to pink shimmer in it. This is really beautiful. This is another polish that I thought was going to definitely need three coats because it's a little bit on the sheer side, but if you get a nice even application with your brush on two coats, it just looks absolutely stunning. This is called Snow Way with an exclamation point, like Snow Way! Um, really beautiful. Again, I do have a dupes portion at the end of this video. If you want to stick around and see what this compares to, I know which polish you're thinking of that it probably compares to, and I'm going to let you see it. The next polish in the collection is this beautiful periwinkle purple hybrid. This is gorgeous. It's a cream formula. There's no shimmer in here or anything, and it's what I have on my nails. And this one's called Good Tide Eans. And this, you guys, surprised the pants off of me. I thought I was gonna definitely need two coats. I was watching all the other ones. I thought I was gonna get to this, and it was gonna be the same kind of formula. This is a one coater. The live application I'm gonna show you is one coat, as well as the photo I'm gonna show you is just one coat. It's so good, and the color is just perfection. It's absolutely a shade you would think to see in the spring. I was ready for a shade like this. I don't know about you. I mean, I'm definitely into my super dark fall shades, but when I was anticipating what was going to come out in this collection, this one surprised me in a really, really good way. I just can't get enough of this type of color. If you want to see comparisons, definitely stick around for the second part of this video. So we've had two polishes already in this collection that have some strong luster shimmer. We have two more that have more of it. Isn't this a great collection, you guys? I think it's really great. So the first one is this blue, and this is called Joy to the Waves. And it's a nice kind of cerulean blue with very strong gold shimmer. And what happens when you combine blue with gold? It makes green. So this polish can look definitely blue and gold duochrome depending on the angle or it can just look straight up beautiful green. This is so beautiful, this polish. I've said that word a million times in this video, but that's really how I feel. I think they did a great job with this. This is a little bit on the sheer side depending on the angle and like how the sun hits your nail. So, of course, your options for that are layering this over another blue. That would take care of that instantly. I'm just going to show you it on its own so that you can see how it would really work by itself, not needing anything else. I thought this applied well. It looks gorgeous on the nail. Really, really fun. All right, next up, the other luster polish. This is called Seas and Greetings. So this is the polish that has the same name as the collection. And you guys, this is so gorgeous. I mean, it's purple. So like I always say, that always gives a polish an extra one up if it's purple, but it's so beautiful. So it's a rich 
purple going to the deep side, but it has all this gorgeous, lustry, golden pink shimmer going on, and that just really lights it up, wakens it up. It's so beautiful. This is great at two coats. This is a pretty similar formula to the polish we just looked at. Maybe a little bit more opaque. Oh, I just, this one is so gorgeous, you guys. This is definitely one of my favorites. This next polish is called Sand in My Mistletoes. So this is probably the only neutral polish out of the collection, although we do have some other very light shades, but this is the only real neutral. This is a beautiful sand toned shade or kind of a very light peachy tan. This is really nice at two coats. Again, this wasn't too sheer. I thought because it was such a light color that it was gonna need three coats, but it didn't. I thought this applied really nicely. You'll have noticed when you watch me applying all the creams in this video, they are pretty runny, um, so with most of them, wiping a lot off your brush is going to serve you pretty well. They just have the tendency to just whoosh, try to run away from you on the nail. Um, that being said, if you already know that about it, these polishes are all pretty easy to control once you get the hang of that fact. I just really as a whole enjoyed the formula of these polishes, and the runniness is I guess maybe my only complaint there. So very last, I'm gonna share with you the glitter. They only did one glitter in here, and this is a micro glitter that I feel gets you full coverage at two to three coats. I say two to three because one of the shades in here is like a, like the base in here rides between a gold and a light pinky pink. So if your skin tone is kind of similar to that, this can almost look like it's getting totally opaque at two coats. If you look close enough, you can see that it does need a little bit more coverage. But you know what I mean? Like it kind of blends in a little bit. So this one's called Let's Celebrate, which I think is super cute. Um, <laughs> one of the only polishes in the collection that really sounds like holiday to me. Like having parties, celebrating with all your family and friends. Okay, so like I said, the base of this is a very light peachy pink with lots of gold and bright pops of like a plummy purple. This is absolutely gorgeous. I'm in love with this polish. I'm really in love with it. And I don't even really like glitters that much, but I love this polish. So like I said, I applied it in two coats and I thought I would stop there, but I thought I decided to go ahead and show you how it looks at three coats. Some of you may be looking at me applying it and saying, you can stop it too, you don't need to waste more polish. If that's how you are, that's great. Save your polish. I decided to do one more just in case and see you know, if it really evened it out anymore. So anyway, what you're looking at is three coats. I thought this is absolutely beautiful. You guys have heard me say so many times on my channel that I love gold and purple together. So this was perfection. All right guys, so I don't know about you, but this collection definitely made me feel like hopping on a cruise this holiday and spending my holidays out in the tropics. This is so beautiful and what a fun, fresh way to do this holiday season because we already have a million holiday reds from China Glaze, a million silvers, a million golds, and I feel like they really tried some different things here with formula and finishes. So as a whole, I really do have to say I recommend this collection. I did purchase it at headtotoebeauty.com. If you are not interested in sticking around for dupes, thanks for spending some time and hanging out with me in this video. You can let me know in the comments which polish was your favorite. Now, if you are interested in seeing what other polishes in China Glaze's line compared to these polishes, well then just keep watching and we will get looking at those. So right here we have the more the barrier. So this is what I had that was the most similar. Things that were slightly metallic looking, not too red, but not too purple. So on the right here we have better not pout, but as you can see it does have too much purple in it. And then on this side, a little bit too much red. This is define good dot dot dot. The thing that was the most similar is right over here and this is Santa read my list. But this has a little bit more of a foil finish and it also has some gold in it, some very slight gold. But I would say that this is your closest bet here. Next up, we're gonna look at comparisons for the Coralie Pink in the collection. That's right here, it's called Warm Wishes. This is the one that had super duper light shimmer, but it really doesn't show up very well on the nail. You can see it a little bit when you are swatching. Um, so as you can see, I have a lot of things to compare it to here. On the right, we have About Laying Out. That is pretty close, but it has a little bit more pink and less coral. And then all the way over on this side, we have High Hopes, which as you can see is too dark, but they are all still pretty close, but this is a little too dark. So on this side, we have Strike a Rose, which as you can see, it has a little bit more pink in it than Warm Wishes, but I wanted to include it because it does also have some fine shimmer. 
This one is a little bit less fine than in Warm Wishes, but they're pretty similar. And I think the closest thing is over here. And this is Surreal Appeal. It's just, it's almost an exact dupe. Pretty similar formula as well. So that's your best bet right there. Moving on to the orangey coral in the collection. Here in the middle, we have Tis the Sea Sun. And as you can see, I didn't find anything exactly like it, but these are the closest things in my collection. So here on the right, we have Ready to Rave, which is really similar. It does have, it has a lot more white in it, which is making it stand out brighter. Um, they are very similarly toned though. And then over here, we have I Break for Color. And I guess that's your closest bet there. These do apply pretty similarly. This one just has a little bit more red in it, just a tiny bit. Next up, we're gonna talk about the very light pink in the collection, and here it is here. This one's called Eat, Drink, Be Merry. And this is also the one that had very fine shimmer. So I found you two pinks that are very similar in color, and then I found you another pink that has very fine shimmer. So nothing that's exactly duping this polish today, but some close things. So over here, we have Something Sweet. I think that's the one that I would say is most similar to it. The pink from today's collection looks a little bit warmer toned and that's aided by the shimmer in it but also because it does have just a little bit more warmth in there. And then on this side we have Life is Beautiful and as you can see that's a super matte polish so they're not gonna really look the same on the nail but they are close in color and especially if you put top coat on this one it'll be pretty close. And I wanted to show you this one over here not because it's exactly the same as this one but they do have a very similar shimmer in it. And this is Wanderlust, and basically it's just an even paler pink. It's super duper pale, and it has that same kind of shimmer. Um, this one is more of a fuchsia pink shimmer, and this is more of a very light gold pink shimmer. So anyway, there you have those. Next up, we're gonna talk about Partridge in a Palm Tree, which is the ultra matte teal, and there actually are a few things very similar to it in China Glaze line. In fact, if you put a glossy top coat on this one, it's almost this polish exactly. So this polish over here is Aquadelic, and that's quite an older polish for China Glaze, but it's still really, really good. And so, yeah, basically, they're almost the exact same there. This one is a little bit brighter. It has more white in it, more of a neon pigment in there. And this one is too yacht to handle. Again, very close, just a little bit brighter. And then over here, this one's a little bit more gray toned, but still very similar. And this is for Audrey. And so there you have some things that are already super close to this. But if you just really loved the matte finish of this one, I mean, you really could probably accomplish that by putting a matte top coat on this one. So I wouldn't say that this polish is necessarily that unique, really, when you think about it. We can always find a reason to pick up a new polish, but I think if you have one of these, you probably are set and don't need this one. Okay, it's time to compare Snow Way, and that's the very, very pale blue pearl polish in the collection. It has that strong gold shimmer going all throughout. So I wanted to compare it for you first next to Pearl Jammin, which is right over here. This just came out in the fall collection. As you can see, they are very similar especially for polishes that are coming out back to back in consecutive seasons. Um, this one just has a little bit more blue in it. They apply basically exactly the same. I would say that Pearl Jammin's Luster is a little bit um, you know, better, able to see it better. Um, and then I did wanna give you a comparison because this polish is exactly the same, right? This is an exact dupe. So if you have this polish, you don't need this polish. This is OPI, Oh My Majesty, from the Alice in Wonderland collection. So, yep, exactly the same. I would say that they both apply pretty similarly, except the China Glaze one is a little bit more runny, like I addressed in the main portion of this video. But if you wanted a reason not to get the beautiful light blue pearly polish in this collection, and you already have this one, well, there's your reason. All right, let's talk about one of my favorites. This is the super awesome One Coat Periwinkle Purple Cream, and this one is called Good Tidings. And I wanna compare it to these three very similar things. So first up on this side, we have Secret Periwinkle. They are very similar, except this one maybe just has a little bit more blue. This one has a tiny bit more pink in it. They are very similar though. On this side, we have Fade Into Hue, which is again, very similar. This is just maybe it has a little bit more gray in it. Super duper close though. These all do have a beautiful formula, but none of them were one coaters like this one, by the way. And then on this side, we have What a Pansy, which as you can see is a darker purple. It's, I think it's kind of really like this one. It's just darker. This one has a little bit more white in it. I feel like if you married these two polishes, you would come up with good tidings. So 
Anyway, very close things, but surprisingly, no exact dupes. Another polish that surprised me that I didn't have an exact dupe for is this one here. This is sand in my mistletoes, and I really thought I was going to have pretty much something exactly like this, but I didn't. The closest thing is much darker, and this is Sorry I'm Latte. And um, as you can see, this just is a lot lighter, a lot more peachy, but so yeah, I was surprised. I guess China Glaze doesn't have as many neutrals as I thought. Now, if you wanted me to compare something to OPI, I could probably find an exact polish like this. But in China Glaze line, this is what I had that was the closest. They didn't have any shimmer. They didn't have, you know, too much white in it, too much yellow in it. So, yep, that's what I have to show you today. So I did just want to quickly mention that these four polishes didn't have anything worthy of comparison in China Glaze line already. The purple, um, there are polishes in China Glaze line such as Mix and Mingle from a previous holiday collection that are similar in base hue, but they don't. there's none of them that have this really gorgeous fuchsia shimmer, so there's nothing really to compare there. Likewise, this blue here, I did have something that was kind of similar just to show you that China Glaze has done a blue with shimmer before, but this one has pink shimmer in it, whereas the polish from this year's collection has this golden green. And then this green shimmering topper, there's really nothing like it in China Glaze line. And then the micro glitter, nothing at all like it in China Glaze line. It's pretty hard to dupe a glitter exactly. So there you have it. That is the end of the dupes portion of the video. All right guys, so those were all the comparisons that I have for you today. I hope that you found that helpful. If you didn't see something compared that you really wanted to see, leave me a comment. A really good way for me to also show you comparisons is to ask me on my Snapchat and then I can just really easily apply it for you and just show you right there. I hope you are having a great day. Thanks for spending summer with me. I will see you back for my next review. Take care, bye.